All right, what is up, Generals? We are back with Ultimate General Civil War, and this is the JNP Rebalance Mod Confederate Major General Campaign. My goodness, that is a mouthful. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you know, and the best part is, is I got I got really good at rattling off that. You know, we're back with Ultimate General Civil War, and this is the Union Major General Campaign. I got really good at rattling that shit off. And then by the time I get really good at rattling all that nonsense off, we're going to wrap this up. Um, anyway, we're back. Uh, we're heading into Manassas Depot. And there's not really a lot to do with the camp screen, which is wonderful and terrible. Uh, because I'm going into this battle with um, allied troops or AI troops. So let's just briefly take a look at the state of the Confederacy. Here is our uh, career screen. Uh, like I said, recon, econ, and army org. Um, until I get to a point where I'm satisfied with um, econ, AO, and recon, I don't see myself really putting points anywhere else. And now, that's not to say I don't want to put points elsewhere. I really desperately want to put points in medicine as a force protection kind of thing. Every guy who trickles back into the army, walking wounded, so to speak, is a musket I'm not buying and a veteran I'm not paying for. So the points there are very cost effective. But at the same time, considering I'm putting a lot of emphasis in building this army on the concept of um, refilling my losses with rookies at every single opportunity, with the exception of, I think, the skirmishers, the, the ranger types, um, where I just, in my head, I, I say that veterans from the infantry transfer up into the Rangers. So, you know, it is that that's, I want to do that too, because this makes the rookies better, right? So I'm hesitant to put points into politics because it's just more money and more dudes. And while that doesn't hurt, that would be great. I feel like these stats all do more for me at the moment than money does. So we'll see. Um, barracks, we've got a couple of officers on the bench and, a bunch over here. We're going to need to grow the army some, but not shitloads for second bull run. So we'll see what we can pull off. One of the nice things about this battle is that we're not going to have any losses that carry forward. So pros and cons there. Um, got a decent backlog of weapons, especially the Springfield 61s, which is always a good time. And uh, at least a brigade's worth of 1841s for a rookie unit or something like that. I have thought about as an experiment creating one brigade as large as I possibly can with the percussion muskets. Um, and because I've got 7,000 of them, right? Um, and just seeing how big I can get it and then just not refilling the unit until it hits, you know, 1250 or whatever. And seeing, like, they'd probably, by nature of the fact that percussion muskets are garbage for anything but melee become a melee unit um but you know just, just an interesting experiment or thought uh so i mean what's a thought um i'm considering the blakely a cannon of foreign design effective but expensive it's got a decent damage curve it's not wonderful it doesn't like knock my socks off or anything um but i mean i don't know we'll see and then maybe the, the unscoped whitworth for my um rangers uh, the, you know, but even there, I'm not really sure it's super duper worth it. So we'll see. Um, let's take a look at the army here. 48 to 53, call it 50, 35 to 40, so call it 37 and we'll call this 45. Uh, so, you know, we've been doing our best at kind of knocking them down a peg at every opportunity. Um, cause Let's just say, what's the state of the Confederate Army right now? So they're at like 50, right? Uh, if we take every single soldier we've got, we probably are what? Yeah, 32. So we're still we're still well, well, well shy of that number. But um, it's important, I think, to continuously and aggressively kill every single soldier you get your hands on. Not because I'm like some bloodthirsty monster, but because if you don't, this number gets out of control real damn quick. So anyway... Without further ado, let's jump into Manassas Depot and take a look at what we got going on. So we start off with um, some standard forces. We get these br un these units, 8,300 some odd brigade soldiers, to their 11,000. So we're outnumbered by 3,000. They double our gun count. Um, neither one of these excites me, let's put it that way. And our 
units. We get cav, cav, which is pretty cool. A lot of infantry, but the thing that makes me nervous is they've got captains leading brigades, which is not wonderful, and none of them are per perked. Uh, you notice that too. So that's a uh, a less than stellar thought. Um, we have artillery in second corps, which will be reinforcements that arrive at some juncture, I suppose. And um, yeah, let's just jump into it. So we lead Trimble's regiments. Why he wouldn't lead them, I don't know. And we're going to take this stuff. This is the exact same map as what you fight in uh, Distress Call. This is the second Union uh, mission, but now we're fighting it from the Confederate perspective. Now with some modifications. Most of the units spawn up here on this road. Some units spawn up here, and then some. a lot of their units spawn up here, and then kind of collect downward. Um, we're going to start here, and we're going to have reinforcements come in this way. So in the briefing, they tell you, hey, an arrow, whatever. I've done a test run. It did not go great. Uh, <laughs> I tried uh, taking my entire force up here and shooting down with the thought process of, hey, I'm attacking downhill, and blah, 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 blah. The thing is, is that my opening command doesn't have the artillery, which would make that really work. Um, and then pretty rapidly we got flanked by a lot of skirmishers. So those two things together, it was a rough combo. And then there's, um, elements of the union command that pop in right here. So pretty immediately I had a significant chunk of my force dedicated to holding them back. And that's just intra forest fighting and you don't want to do any of that shit. So we're going to, um, we're going to have to adjust. Um, so let's see. It didn't get, I didn't get the same shakeout. So I did get the cav brigades to split this time, which is good. Extra cav is never going to hurt. We got extra skirmishers, which is unfortunate because the skirmishers here are fucking terrible. Um, and I, in the previous version of this, I'd gotten an extra infantry brigade, which I was very excited about. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get all of our cav collectively down here. Let's get our skirmishers, one there, one double tree, yeah, one there. And then we'll start worming our way down here with this command. Um, there, and there. Oh boy, okay. So I don't know what the triggering condition is for the extra half of my army to show up. Um, all I know is right now there's a swarm of skirmishers out there, and they are just mad about everything, man. They are just mad about everything. Um, I got to give the AI commander uh, credit where it's due. They really are pretty aggressive, pretty, pretty aggressive already all right let's see what three cav units can can run down chamberlain i saw a cow up here It's cool. You're not cavalry or anything. It's fine. Jesus, guys. Come on. That is not... Oh, you know what? No, that's probably not actually 33. That's that's right. They split. So the second they take one casualty, it's going to be like a field of dead bodies. With any kind of purpose at all. Again, they're on foot, you're on horse. I get it, you're in the woods, that sucks. But you should be able to outrun this shit. Oh, come on guys, seriously? They're in the open. Okay, it's a pretty shit weapon, and you've got no training whatsoever. So Trimble here seems to have assembled his command out of literally anybody he could find. Just in a bar, sounds like a plan. You know, he's just got a bunch of angry people don't like paying tax or something.
Oh, come on. Oh, they got Chamberlain to split? Son of a bitch. That is not a good time for anybody involved. I mean, we got Cav too. I mean, there's that. I suppose I can't bitch too much, but still. Nope, keep going. I'm not done with you yet. Run them down. I don't care that you're not melee cavalry. It doesn't really bother me one way or the other. I just want less skirmishers on the field. Fewer. Grammatically correct. We're rebelling against something, something, states' rights. Totally not slavery, I swear. And, um, you know, but that doesn't mean we can't use proper English. Well, if you're going to get in a protracted firefight, you may as well get off your damn horses. This is embarrassing. This isn't... Trimble. Have you trained them at all? Like, have you marched them around in a circle a little bit? I get it that like training finger quotes in this era was just walking around and being like, I'm a soldier. But dudes, seriously, come on. This is embarrassing. All right. you're, you're good. You're good. It's not working. That's all of that. You should be ashamed. None of you deserve the, the, the title of cavalryman. You guys aren't doing a much better job at being infantry, so don't think I'm reserving praise for you or anything. Oh, man. Yeah, this is rough. All right, so we're engaging on favorable terms. My unperked infantry versus their unperked skirmishers. This is the Civil War equivalent of the South Park cripple fight. Um... We do fortunately have Lorenzas. To be completely honest, I I don't know if if I really think the skirmishers have a bad chance here. They might they might do distressingly okay. <laughs> and counter charge. You wanna fight? Let's fight. Still embarrassing. Still embarrassing. There you go. Slowly but surely, you've turned it around. See that, guys? See that, guys? Look at how that worked. Good job. Good job. Some of you guys might be worthy of the title of soldier by the time we're done. Maybe. No promises. Oh, they're bringing in the other one. Fancy. All right, well, in that case, let's get some supporting fires in there. Hey, all right. There you go. 200 and some odd, well, 300 guys, right? Because there's casualties they took and all that kind of shit on the way in. Less, fewer English. We'll speak it one of these days. Have they gotten artillery yet? They have. As usual, Billy Yank out outguns me. And outnumbers me. Damn him and his 
well-formed industrial base and solid logistics. So are you just like shooting randomly? Okay, you're shooting at one of the Chamberlains. Got it. If you guys like collected yourselves yet, Oh, you still have some palpitations. All right. I do declare, Jeb, that was a right good fight. Are you sure? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. A positive kill ratio. All right. See that, guys? Do you know what that is? Positive kill ratio, right? It's profit. Revenue. Expense, profit, we're up 70 something. So if they can shoot me, you can shoot them, right? That's how that works. Also, you can shoot them and maybe you gotta move probably, but the fuck, bro? You're the one with the range. All right, let's work our way around here. Let's see what we can see. Do the recon thing. Chamberlain Mark 1. That means we're shooting a Chamberlain Mark 2. We have killed 30 of them. Another positive ratio. We're up 28. All right. Come on, guys, you got cavalry right in the open. It was a dream target. and fearsome volley from two combined confederate regiments fell a grand total of six guys alright whatever eventually we'll win that firefight sometime in 2017 or 20, uh, 2027 alright I mean, I don't have enough stuff to come out of the woods, so... Just leave. You're good, dude. Do what you gotta do. Go back and get coffee. Union infantry is attacking us. Great! Are they, though? I see skirmishers. Did early train his men at all? Nope. It's also just a collection of random angry people. How the fuck are you shooting me over there? What, range 400 is what? It's this. And that's the distance of 400. This is quite a bit larger than... I mean, it's on the edge. I'll grant you that. It's on the edge. But this is some shit. All right, whatever. Hey, we got a lucky split. Good times. Much rejoicing. Oh, God, finally, some artillery. Ooh, another one. All right, that's cool. Might be closing that numbers gap after all. Ooh, a surprise wagon. Be very quiet. I'm hunting money. Fire! 
Oh. Oh. All right, we have a how again? Whoa, shit. Um. Well then. Several of the New Yorker boys are over meow. I think that's our cue to get the hell out of Dodge. What are you shooting at? Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, man, just keep that up. Whatever, sounds good, man. Oh, no, sorry, not Tremble. I meant the supplies. Tremble, you can just do whatever you want, man. You're, you can't figure out how to train your guys. Like None of your dudes have figured out how marching works. No one knows how to point a gun in the right direction. People are all confused about pull trigger, make boom. All right, what is this? Three inches? Oh man, okay. Um I guess go up there. Like I still wanna blast them out of the fort up here first. And they're pretty heavily reinforced down here. Actually. Let's keep on the whole recon thing and figure out where folks are. Because honestly, these cluck, cluck, uh, chuckle fucks aren't going to do anything meaningful on the attack anyway, so what does it matter? All right, you are doing your thing. All right, let's advance the timeline a bit. Let you guys slowly but surely kill the garrison one musket shot at a time. Get everyone in position. You can go ahead and join them, I think, actually. This three cavalry is a meaningful threat. Maybe. All right. You're the only ones killing anybody. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> from 5 to 14 they figured out through trial and error that pointing the end with the hole in it towards the guys in blue seems to be the general way in which that um, big stick of theirs works alright let's see what's what's uphill here oh man all right, so this is all flat, but then you see there's a nice uphill curve. It would kill for contour lines, but it's whatever. All right. Um, see, this is why I wanted to keep coming around, because that's heavy artillery. Let's see if we can't get in there and get at that. Still want to just use the cannons to blast these guys out of there, though. Where's the infantry? Tell me the rest of the New York division, because these guys are Ohio, and these guys are New York. And then there's Chamberlain. I don't know where he's from. But tell me the rest of the New York divisions left the woods, and the 6th Virginia can finally redeem themselves in the eyes of the South. That's fine, dude. I don't care. Just shoot the friggin' cannons. 
right there. The one's right in front of you. All right, you are forgiven for literally all of your sins until right now. Um, don't route this way. Don't route this way. Route that way. Route that way, or just or just shatter. Feel free to also shatter. That'd be an option too. I will accept. The jury's panel will accept that option as well. Judge's panel. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's not going to work. It's okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Come on, shatter. Uh, wait. You. Go, like, be weapon their shit and keep them busy and, and, like, distract them. It's worth it. It's still worth it. It's still worth it. They run perk. They probably can't hit anything anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shatter. Oh, you're getting tired, aren't you? Uh, no, you're fine. You're getting, you're fine. Hey, look, 73rd. Worth it. Check it out, dudes. Oh, yeah, get out of there. <laughs> what's, what's that? It, it's the Simpsons when Homer pulls off a trick and he's like, whoop, 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 Whatever's that Zoidberg? He's, they're just like, ah, get out of there. <laughs> All right. Second Virginia. Distracting force. It's worth it. I'm sorry, guys. It's worth it. Yeah, he didn't get any stats out of the deal anyway. All right, you've done your job. Run away. Rest up, and then honestly, just get ready to do it again. If well, this battle gets a lot easier, if they don't have any artillery, I mean, in my head, I don't have any idea of any way of knowing that, frankly. But all right, guys, come on. Yep, shoot downhill, take out the seventieth, and just waltz right into that fort. And things become a lot easier. Alternatively, if we can bait them into an attack on our line, because, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're just shitty untrained rookies and they can't figure out which, which end is the ass and which end is the gun, but um, this is a decent line. And they would be attacking in the open. So when I do hit this fort, I want to hit it from a couple different sides. Um, although also I do also want to bring artillery into the mix, so we may have to wait on that. All right, don't don't let them don't let them get too close. Ah, poop! I think our window. We had a window, and I think I just missed it. I think I just missed it. Oh, man. Well, wait a second. So there's what? One, two, three brigades plus the artillery. Hmm. Yeah, this fort's pretty, pretty poorly defended. All right, I had a window and I'm pretty sure I missed it, but... We'll see if we can't put some musket shots into it and cause some fun that way. Anything that these guys can do to pull assets away from the fort up there is good. But for, I mean, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, we're doing okay anyway. We got one one artillery battery down. And it was a big one. The heavy artillery, I'm sure that's some shit like James's or 20-pounders or whatever. Um, one, two, three, four. 
plus the cav. The skirmishers are nowhere to be seen. How are our numbers looking? 10,000 to 9,500. Let's let the artillery do their thing for a minute, but I think we can probably take this fort without too much trouble. Once the artillery gets in a position and does their thing for a minute. Have they gotten some stamina from all that walking? Yes, they have. Oh, oh, you silly fools, you. All right, just wait. And go. Oh, you fools. Oh, you fools, you fools. Don't, just don't even wait. Just get in there. Any of you who die in the process, it's worth it. I could replace them with like angry toddlers, so it'd be fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three units at once, you should be fine. Worth it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Stop exploding, you cowards! Come on. You've had too much of this. Shatter. All right, we got to break contact soon. Let's get him down to 100 and bail. Nope. All right, everything's pointed in the wrong direction as far as the Union's concerned. Now is my chance. Which one's the Napoleon's? I got him below a hundred. I'll take it. I'm using this cavalry all wrong. <laughs> None of them have swords. <laughs> That's also not a great corridor. I just did the exact same thing to the... Oh. Oh. This is probably a mistake. But we'll see. Early, lead your angry toddlers. Tremble the same. Cavalry, draw them away in the wrong direction. If we can kick them out of this fort, one of these two forts, we can get a lot of things situated. Yep, middle range is actually ideal for you. I want you a wee bit shorter or closer. And middle range is fine for you as well. And it's like one of those things like if we kill anybody, good, great, grand, but really I'm just trying to get them to like morale shock them out of the forts. Come on. <laughs> you did it.
Just walk into them. Fall back. There you go. And now you can do this. Start shooting things in the butt. Well, uh, so this is decidedly not how I planned for this to go. I don't even know what I'm shooting at right now. I just this collection of random blue dudes coming at me. Probably the 74th. But I mean, sure, man, whatever. You do what you gotta do. Start shooting things in the butt. Although, also, get out of there. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yep. Let's uh let's get you out of there. So when I say that way, I mean this way. Bye, second Virginia. Still not kidding. Still mean it. Keep it coming. Jesus. It's just still coming, huh? Impressive kill tally, guys. So can you... Shit, this one starred unit right here is going to, like, turn the entire battle, it seems like. Because right now it's just a cripple fight of idiots trying to, you know, be taken seriously by their parents. Um... So are you done? I'd rather just be done shooting at you. I've got other targets I'd much rather be shooting at. So maybe I should just charge them. Not allowed to take the fort. Of the the top one first, but I guess not.
Man, that's proving to be quite effective. Oh, hey. No, no, no. Back up. You too. Back the fuck up. Shit. I missed that. That's on me. That's totally on me. I just wasn't paying attention. We're doing this again? Just like seriously, like it's just going to be a chain of cycle charges? All right. Fine, I guess. All right. Um, things are okay, actually, down here. In fact, I have a surplus of troops, probably. Um, once we evict 36th, I was going to say 34th. So we don't actually want to be in that fort, um, I don't think. I'm assuming we need both of these, right? Draw. So at the very least, if nothing goes wrong, I'll have a draw, which is, I don't know, one of those, like, I'll take it, I guess, kind of situations. <laughs> uh, okay. Because this is getting untenuous. I want to get out of this situation. I want to shift the momentum. Seven seconds about at it. Come on, give me a nice canister shot and then I can point them somewhere else. Whoa. Whatever, that's fine. Oh boy, all right. Um. Let's, if we're going to do a firefight, let's fall back into the woods then. Early, you're on the right track. You guys are on the right track. We just need to clean some of our shit up. What is this nonsense? Are you at least slowly but surely killing them? go over here and once you finish mounting up I'll give you the same order yeah, I can't get dragged into this stupid shit not in a protracted sense that's not profitable for anybody. Okay, 
Are you mounted yet? Are you mounted yet? Mount. All right, I guess you were, and you just weren't showing it. That's fine. I don't have an issue with that. them out. Still figuring your lives out, I understand. Another thing I'm worried about is the lack of units between me <laughs> and the enemy. Oh, okay. That's great. You can just rest up for a bit, I guess. Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of the woods. These are my woods. You can't have them. Come on, skirmishers. Get the memo. Get out of here. I guess if you're going to do that, then we're going to go ahead and do this, I guess. We've got no choice, frankly. Yeah, okay. Stop. Why would you do that? I told you to attack them. Or if I didn't, I intended to. Feel free to, you know, shoot them. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Wow, what a weak, weak fallback. You guys sure you want to? All right, you're good. Fine, whatever.
Okay, so that part of it's blunted. Let's shoot the one behind it. Well, this is the literal exact opposite of what I wanted to be doing, but I suppose you do what you have to when the situation calls for it, so... Yeah. Hurley, get in there. Where the fuck is Trimble? Trimble's doing the thing up here, right? Yeah, he's keeping 30 busy. For all the good that's likely doing. Alright, cool. 12 is on the edge. The infantry can finish him off from there. Now we do 71 mark 1. And we just give them nowhere to retreat. version of 71 and we just keep on chain routing them should be okay I'll push them up this way which I'm less than excited about I'd love to push them out this way but it's okay Lots of nice collateral kills, which is good. Oh, you don't need to run, sorry. Is anybody else running? You might need to run, but that's another story. I'm gonna hit this thing from enough size that they've got no choice but to route. certainly getting as good as we're giving, but I think we're doing mostly okay here. We got them all pocketed up, basically, with the exception of these guys over here. Okay, so they're that way. I don't know if you know where your left is, but figure out where that is and then point yourselves in that direction. I don't know why you're exhausted either. You just... Okay, whatever. Sure. Yeah, that part sucks. 
Turn around. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Good enough. get a couple of these units to route and I charge in there. Not with like the 15th who's been battered, but some of these units who aren't doing so bad, like 13. Yeah. They go flying in there and make this thing mine. actually aren't trading all that well. Um, who's got some stamina? Should be interesting. So we're not killing anybody. This, like we mentioned in the briefing, this fort, for whatever reason, is like amazing. Great defensive terrain. All right, please shatter. Please, mostly shatter. Really love not to have to run you down. Keep it up. See if you can't get him. All right, good. Great. Grand. Now blast these guys. Everyone's just incompetent enough that this all works. You're good. You're good. You're good. Just shoot him. All right, my fort. These guys dead. Get 
Just guard that, dude. It's fine. We'll probably wipe this unit before they get out of there. It's a tactic. I'm not entirely sure I'd call it a good one, but it seems like it's working here. Some of them got out. That's fine. It's not like it's the end of the world or anything. one has the opportunity to get in. Yeah, you guys can just rest up in there. It's cool. All right, gents. I think we've taken far heavier casualties than I would have expected, but we've we've got done a pretty good job with this. <laughs> Brigade. Just <laughs> that's the name of the unit. Brigade. Cool. Now they're in this kind of interesting damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Because they could retreat away from the flags, you know, and, and stay safe on the woods and shit. Um, but to take the objectives that are ostensibly the purpose of this mission, they need to uh, come into the flags, or come down this corridor and attack the fort where they're going to take flank fire from artillery and everything else. Yeah, this is interesting. Blam, blam, blam. What are you doing? 73rd. Let's just let you guys hang out there. It's fine. Without, like, a reason to level up 
these units or anything. I'm probably just content to, as soon as the map gives me an option to finish the battle, I probably will. Guys, just hold the fort. Come out here and deal with these guys. They're not long for this world, I would imagine. I just want you gone. You too. Go away. Side, this is boring, which I mean, might as well be now. I don't know. We'll see. Certainly, whenever it's unprofitable to continue offensive operations. great place for you to go, is there, huh, buddy? Come on. No. I think we both know you're not going to surrender. It's okay. I'll just pin you in the corner and shoot you to death. It's fine.
Yeah. All right. We're good. Um. All right. So some casualties and inflict suffered in the casualties suffered casualties inflicted. I mean, I don't really care. Whatever. Uh, a bunch of guys that I don't care about got promoted. Good for them. Um. Roughly a brigade's worth of Lorenzes. That's actually phenomenal. Uh, hey, hey, and two 20-pound parrots. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Seriously, this entire thing was worth it because of these. That's it. I mean, this was good, too. Uh, I'm not going to complain about Lorenzes. So, um, yeah, that was uh, Manassas Depot. Got another uh, point. I think Recon's probably fine. Let's go ahead and do Econ, right? Discount for weapons. Or do they want to do AO? Three, six, five. Six divisions per core. Oh, fuck. I think I do actually want that. Well, I mean, I've got 160,000. I can probably... Nah, I'm good. I'll just have more core. Yeah. Econ. Because, I mean... That's fine. Econ. All right, where are you? How much does Recon, does rookies bump me down? A pretty negligible amount. Is it just 25 per gun? Oh, my, my math has been wrong. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. We could level that back up. We still have our perk. That's the only thing I really care about. Can I get away with a light colonel? Can okay cool Baylor guess what you're my twenty pounder twenty parrot unit twenty parrot guy all right so we have more rep probably gonna go into a Blakely we'll see about that I don't know so we are gonna be fielding all three of these core I mean or are we right that's the other question is do I really care this is still plenty of dudes. This is this full up is 25. That's 50 brigades if I do the whole thing. And I don't know, as I've got a bunch of units that need to be refilled. Right? Like these guys got beat up real good. So, um, I'd like to express my apologies. Blah, 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 blah. I'm ensuring you that our men are still in good condition. Yeah, that's gone up a bit. So is that. It is deeply understood that after the thing, we need more seasoned troops. Battle-hardened vets. Great. Uh, extra recruits. Okay, so their numbers have gone up pretty significantly. Um, let's just see before I doctor all this shit up. Thirty-three. Oh, that's right. We do this stupid side mission before we do the actual thing. All right. Okay. So there's eight, eighty-three hundred. I think I saw. Um. Yeah. Whatever. I will doctor all this stuff up. We will jump into second bull run. I am very much looking forward to this battle. Uh, from a Confederate perspective, it is. It is. I maintain it is one of my favorite battles on the Union campaign. I think it is you know, the high watermark of the early war as far as the Union campaign is concerned. Um, I f forget, to be quite frank with you, I forget what it's like as a Confederate, so we shall see. Um, however, until then, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and uh, I will see you in the next one. This is Fiasco, signing out.